what's up everybody so today i'm going to be taking a prius power steering electric power steering and i'm going to be mounting it onto my dune buggy with the volkswagen front end so this power steering here is taken off of a 2006 toyota prius um this is the power steering motor and shaft the shaft here with the two universals on the end of it that's also off of the car is the module off of the power steering as well i was lucky enough and i had a good buddy that he um, works at a machine shop and so he was able to make me this mounting plate um, he's actually already done this on his dune buggy that's very similar to mine Now that we got our steering shaft off, I'm now going to be fitting up this power steering unit. Well, it looks like this piece right here is seized onto the shaft to the steering box. So I had to pull out the harmonic balancer puller. Um, and we're going to see if that'll get the job done. All right, well, the harmonic balancer tool did not work. Um, I bent the tool. This thing's pretty seized on there. So we're going to the last resort. My friend, the cutting wheel. Now I'm gonna take this piece right here, this piece of tubing that's wrapped around the shaft on the power steering unit. And I'm gonna cut it down shorter, probably cut it right there. I'm ready to go. Oh, now that everything's kind of sitting there where it should be, um, it looks like my mount is about an inch too short. So I'm going to have to have my uh, friend cut me another one. Here we are, day two, with Project Prius Power Steering. Uh, today I'm hoping to get this welded up to the frame. I'm hoping to get both the universal joints connected. Um, and I'm also hoping that I'll be able to get the module mounted where I'm... Right here, it's a little loose. But I'm going to try and tighten that down so it centers that universal joint. Put an ugly tack weld on there, in the end of the shaft. And actually, when you turn it, now it seems pretty centered. Well, it's if I had more than one hand to do this. Well, to be honest with y'all, I kind of was hoping that was hollow. So that way I could slip the spline in there and center it even more. But I guess we're going to have to come up with something new to center that on there. All right, so what I've decided here is that I'm going to use this spline um, like I was originally planning. That fits down inside there. I'm going to cut it right there. I'm going to try and get it flat as possible weld it to the end of that just flat and we'll see how that works out
a fun little shop tip here. So I know sometimes we end up cutting our piece of metal. It's too short to be clamped into the chop saw. So, so what I did is cut a piece of metal here, the length <clears throat> of the clamp. Then I just put something on the other side that's about the same thickness. And when you tighten it down, should tighten it down pretty tight. So I got my steering stem cut to length and I've got those splines cut to length. So now I'm gonna weld them together and we will see if they stay straight. Got this end a little more than tack welded. It's looking like it stayed pretty straight. So here's what it looks like. Kind of all mocked up, steering wheel installed. Next, I'm gonna kind of tack everything up. All right, everything's kind of tacked and mocked up. And steering it back and forth, everything actually looks like it works pretty well. So check it out. So I've got everything almost all welded up. Everything's looking pretty good, um, except for I think I'm gonna have to put a gusset on the mount for the power steering unit itself. When it's hooked up to the steering and you're, you're steering it and putting it under load, the unit does like to bend just a little bit this way. So if I put a gusset right there, I'm hoping that that'll kind of eliminate the flexing. Well, we got the saws all. Now it's time to sneak back out. Here's my gusset all cut out. Now I'm just gonna deburr it with the belt sander. There we go, the gusset's finished. Time to weld it in. Gusset's all welded in, ready to go. All right, we got it all put back together now and steering it back and forth with that new gusset has definitely helped a lot. Um, it has no movement at all and everything seems to have lined up really good. No flex. All right, everyone, day three of the project, Prius power steering. Um, everything's mounted up pretty solid now. Welded everything, gusseted it up. So now it's time to wire everything up. So right now I'm about to throw this module under my seat. Thing is though, it's got these ugly looking mounts on the bottom of it. So I kind of already started, but I'm gonna take that cutting wheel and I'm gonna cut those off so I can mount it flush.
All right, so this mount right here, if I were you, I would flatten that out and use that to bolt, and bolt it down somewhere. Um, but for me, I'm just gonna be zip tying this to the bottom of my seat because that's gonna be the best place to put it. It's not really a good place to bolt it down, so I'm gonna be cutting that off. So this module is actually super, super easy to wire up. Almost all the wiring's done for you um, when you pull it out of the car. So if we look right here, these are the only wires you have to cut to get it out of the car. The rest of the wires, these two plugs here, is hooked to the motor. So that hooks, this plug is for the motor, and then this is just wires from the module itself, or the power steering unit itself. There's like three wires or four wires and it just plugs in right there. So all you have to do is unplug them when you get them out of the car. But the wiring right here, this is your ground wire and this runs to your battery. And I'm going to run an inline fuse with this and hook it up to my battery. I'll do a 30 amp fuse. We'll see how that works. Should work pretty good. Then right here on this plug, so there's three wires that are munched together right there. All three of those, those are gonna be a ground as well. And then this wire, that's all by itself, is for your key on power. So this right here, as soon as it gets signal, then it kicks the relay over and allows the electricity from the battery to come into the module and out to the power steering unit itself. So it's pretty simple to wire up. So here I've got my main power wire. Yes, I know it's black. They didn't have any red wire, so I have to go black with my power wire. This is my inline fuse. So I'm just gonna cut that wire right there, splice it into this wire, and then right there, I'll plug in my 30 amp fuse. All right, the inline fuse is all wired in, ready to go. Check it out. So it's on the positive of the battery and it's running down to the module there under the seat. so I got everything wired up down here got my power and ground hooked up and I got all the wires extended that go to the power steering unit itself up there good news is it works but I guess on these power Prius power steering units um, you have to wait five or six seconds for them to kick on so if it doesn't turn on immediately if you were to wire one up don't worry about it just what they do but man that turns so smooth
put it all back together. All right, so the power steering's all painted up, thrown back on. Now I gotta get some wire loom and make the wires look pretty. All right, well, I'm thinking everything's done here. Got my wire loom on. Everything's painted up. And it works. I mean, look at this. I can one hand it. I can dang near almost use just my finger back and forth. Turn it off. You gotta use your whole hand. I'm so excited, it's gonna be super nice. I just wanted to make mention that this is completely custom to my dune buggy and that you might have to make tweaks along the way to accommodate what you're gonna be putting it on. Rather it's a four wheeler, a dune buggy, a side by side, um, off road, any type of off road vehicle, you're gonna have to make accommodations. You're gonna have to customize it yourself. And that's what's so cool is we all get to use our creativity and we get to use our own mind and style to build what we want. Project Prius power steering is now finished. This next weekend, I'm hoping to take the dune buggy out and actually try out the power steering and I'll be doing a video on that next week. So keep a lookout for that. Please like and comment on this video if you have any questions. And also subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be putting videos up every week. All right, that's all we've got for today on Cluttered Garage.